Hi everyone. Welcome to the latest episode of Construction Week's Expo Reaction Series, where we speak to the officials spearheading the participation of various countries at the world's greatest event. Joining me today is Jens Lund, the Pavilion Director of Danish Business Pavilion at Expo 2020 Dubai. Thank you so much for joining us today, Jens. Thank you very much for having me, Ranju. It's a real pleasure. I would like you to tell me if Denmark was involved in Expo 2020 Dubai's steering committee discussions on the postponement. We weren't as much involved as some of the other countries that are there, but we have a very close working relationship with the other Nordic countries, Finland, Sweden and Norway. And through that participation and coordination, we were part of that. Yes. What is your take on the postponement and how is the Danish Business Pavilion planning to move forward with the one year delay? Well, the first part is that considering this, certain, this situation, coronavirus, COVID-19, we think it was the most prudent choice to make. We support it 100%, both from the official and unofficial channels. We think it's the right thing. And we think that the opportunity that it involves in getting another year will make the expo even better. Um, so we are handling it quite well. It's been a real challenge, of course, uh, for a number of companies and entities to try and adjust to it. Uh, but we were late to the game as such. And because we were late, we see this as a blessing in disguise. Obviously, the hurt and, and the challenges that people are going uh, through at a global level will be uh, something that we don't appreciate and understand. But we understand that the opportunity to create something that's even better for Dubai and the region and the world is going to be incredible. Yeah, now that the postponement is uh, obviously official from the BIE, uh, can you tell me how does this affect the existing budget of the Danish pavilion and what changes do you foresee in the cost? The budget will go up and, and part of that element is the, the factor that you've got to weatherproof, you've got to finish the building still and the private sector is a bit slow forthcoming in terms of cash flows. But we also see it as an opportunity to reach more companies and more clusters of companies. Denmark is very strong. We have one of the most uh, ambitious CO2 reduction um, uh, targets in the world. By 2030, we have to reduction of 70% of the CO2 outlets and being able to showcase that and get all the clusters and all the, the government elements on board of this, which is one of our key targets, will mean that we'll be able to, to get more funds to make it even better. So in the short term, it has an impact of a slight delay and it has an impact of cost overruns that will be there. But with the support of those companies and this new opening up and understanding export is really important, we foresee that to be a good thing in the long run. I know that uh, Denmark is obviously going to be a 100% sustainable pavilion. What percentage of the construction has been completed at the moment? And what are the next activities lined up? Yeah, so, um, and, and thank you very much. That's a great question because it is something that's really, really important to us is the sustainability. So what we have now as, as per day state, uh, the foundations are done. And we are working and implementing uh, the, the ground level and then the first level of uh, obviously coming in after that. So I would say we're about 30% uh, there. And the, the, uh, the, uh, the impact on this has always been a bit slow due to the COVID-19 um, challenges that's been there in terms of keeping everyone safe and making sure everyone uh, are okay. But obviously, it has also lessened the productivity on site. Uh, but we're still on track and we believe we will hit the target by end of uh, September to create a weatherproof uh, uh, building on this. So uh, are you actually uh, taking care of any particular elements, making sure that you're not uh, constructing that element at the moment and then you are only keeping it probably towards the closest time period to the opening of the Expo 2020 Dubai? Well, there's a couple of elements of this. The, the first element is the core and shell. We want to make sure that we're weather tight. Uh, we know what the weather is going to be like coming up towards the end of, of this year, beginning of next year. And we want to make sure that there will be no damage there. We don't really have a basement. We have the foundation. So we're 
pretty well in, in good condition on that. Anything to do with active components, uh, active elements that needs to go in there, we've been able to postpone till next year for the installation. So our focus really is to get the core and shell there, make sure it's watertight, and then after that, we can then uh, put the elements in that are related to the private initiatives and the technology that obviously needs to go in there, which we will not leave um, until uh, beginning of next year. Can you tell me if you're still moving ahead with plans to dismantle the pavilion and then erect it at another, another location as a kindergarten in Dubai after the closing of the World Expo? Great question and thank you very much. It's another thing that I'm immensely proud of is that we've been able to manage to reuse the whole pavilion. This is a modular pavilion. We can take it down and we can rebuild it again on a site. The short answer is yes. The slightly longer answer is that we are now trying to find out if that plot is still available and we are already in negotiations with the Ministry of Education as well as here, as it is in Denmark, to see if we can create possibly a sense of excellence. So the short answer is definitely what we want to do is actually use this time to make it even better and open up for more. It was really insightful, the conversation that I had with you and knowing how Danish Business Pavilion is actually keeping sustainability at the front with the construction activities. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much, Anju. It's been a pleasure. While that's all for today's episode of Construction Week's Expo Reaction Series, we will come back soon with another interesting video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to share it with your friends and colleagues. To continue getting regular updates on our video content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.